Hello friends, how are you all? This is Jean Allen School and here we will learn about the basic of genetic engineering, biotechnology and molecular biology. So a biotechnical technological topic today we will discuss that is single cell protein. If you think that this video is a little bit valuable to you, so subscribe my channel and like the video if you like the topic or my description and comment what about the topic you want to learn and uh, uh, how can I increase my tutorials comment me thanks all so now we will go to our topic the topic is single cell protein that is one of the modern in invention of science that is single cell protein normally it is, it is uh, seems that like protein single cell protein but this single cell protein is not the cell of protein that is the microbes dried microbes when microbes are become dried and that is processed so this microbes can be used for our protein consu consumption sometimes some repeats or other nutrients are found so the main complement uh, component of the single cell protein is the protein supplement to human body and animal body so here is a little description about the single cell protein here you see that the single cell protein are dried cells of microorganisms that is i repeated that the microorganisms are dried so normally when it is dried so dead microbes are become dead and the microbes cannot harmful for us and that can be used as a protein supplement both for human and animal that is called single cell protein some microbes here you see that that are used as single cell protein that is algae bacteria fungi and yeast here is the some species of of this bacteria algae and fungi here you see this you can memorize these names for the list of microorganisms that are that are used in single cell protein that is the spirulina sp which is one of the most used or one of the mostly used element of single cell protein that is spirulina sp and other type of uh, there is yeast like saccharomyces cerevisiae that is also so much used or uh, candida utilis that, that is also used aspergillus niger that is uh, mostly used i found that pseudomonas fluorescens that is also used so that is the list of microbes that are dried and made to the single cell protein as the important yeah topic that that is composition of nutrients the composition of nutrients that are found in the single cell protein here you see that the protein fat and nucleic acid so here you see the fungi algae yeast and bacteria but their percentage of composition like protein in fungi 30 to 40 percent protein are found when it the fungi are turned into single cell protein and in the algae that is 40 to 60 percent and yeast 45 to 55 percent etc etc that, that, that is the list you need to also memorize this list to get the something valuable element about single cell protein but the main fact in here is that the nucleic acid I repeat that the main fact which single cell protein is more better which single cell protein is not harmful for our body that is the nucleic acid because the less the nucleic acid are found in single cell protein that is more valuable for us that will not harm us and when the nucleic acid is more the more nucleic acid are found that is more harmful for us called you know that nucleic acid is nucleic acid that creates the disorder in purine metabolisms in human cause more the nucleic acid are found that create more uric acid in our body uric acid is so much harmful for our body that can cause gut disease in us so how can protect nucleic acid in body normally some animals can body have some animal body have enzyme uricase enzyme uricase enzyme can degrade uric acid but in human or in the mankind they have no uric uricase enzyme so uric acid are 
not degraded in body so the more we consume nucleic acid our body will get more uric acid and there is so much harmful for us we have to create the single cell protein that has less nucleic acid to protect our body from uric acid or the purine metabolism disorder so that's all about the compo composition of ACP in my next lesson I will discuss about the uh, advantage limitations of SCP. Here you will learn about the nucleic acid metabolism fully what how nucleic acid can uh, harmful for our body. So next process is single cell pro protein production. There is a single cell protein production. So, so when we try to uh, produce a single cell protein first we have to select the microbes. The microbes need to be harmless the microbes need to be less expensive so we need to select the microbes here i have to also told that the SCP production is the use of microbes in an to produce the single cell protein so the microbes that can be harmful for our environment when it is spread out but if you we use the single cell protein and use these microbes for our valuable production or protein production that microbes can be recycled and that will not harmful for our environment so when you select a proper microbes for our single cell protein then we will, we will ferment these microbes we know the how what is fermentation process by the fermentation process we know that fermentation is the process of culturing microbes a, lot or a great number of microbes can found within a very short time by the fermentation process that is the next step of single cell protein and we know that by fermentation process we can degrade the microbes or microorganisms degrade the microorganisms into organic compounds that we need the fermentation is fermentation is one of the most important step in single cell protein production about the fermentation process I will also make a tutorial. I hope you will see this within a very short time. I will release the fermentation tutorial. And here is the harvesting process. When you get the microbes, we have to harvest the microbes very properly, grow with a proper statement and proper environment to to grow not to harmful for us, to grow with a proper environment. I repeat that to create the single cell protein. And that is the post treatment and processing process. Post treatment is that we will get the, a large number of colony from the microbes. So this colony need to be treated well and need to be next process to single cell protein and the processing you know that uh, the harmful elements are degraded and the available elements that you need the protein supplement or the lipid supplement that are taken and other supplement are washed out or, or take, uh, taken out. That is the next step. So here is the flowchart of single cell protein production that is here. Here is substrate that is I call that about the substrate or microbes that are used. That is the substrate. And next is fermentation and filtration. By filtration process, we, we will release out the our unusable element. We will release and by we will now dry this microbes. And by drying this single cell protein are found and other nutrients some nutrients we can add into the substrate when the fermentation process when microbes are grown in the fermenter with a large number then if you use some nutrients that are available we think about the single cell protein we can add us to this and after filtration and drying we will get single cell protein so friend, that is all about the first part of single cell protein in the next part i will teach you what is the limitation of single cell protein what is the advantage of single cell protein ever and uh, uh, what is the uh, body sorry what is how nucleic acid is harmful for our body cause a great number of nucleic acid are found in single cell protein hope you will see my next tutorial till now have a nice day goodbye